I'm going to talk about a bill that we didn't pass. And it's a bill that had a lot of headlines, and it was the Religious Freedom Bill. Uh, Ray and I, uh, we spent a lot of time preparing for a session, and he and I sat down with other legislators before a session started, and they said, you know, Susan Ray, we b the courts are striking down our definition of marriage, which is between one man and one woman. It passed by 70 percent of the vote a few years ago. And they said, we need more religious freedoms, protections, and state law. And Ray and I said, sure, we're with you. And people went to the governor, and they said, we need our religious freedoms protected. And that is a universal concept. That's something we all believe in. We believe in protecting religious freedom. And Ray and I were on board. Uh, we were excited about working on that issue. And uh, the, ho the bill was introduced in the House, and it passed the House. And I can tell you, the bi nobody was fly-specking that bill because everybody believes in religious liberty. And as soon as the bill came over to the Kansas Senate, uh, the business community, after it passed the House, um, thought, hey, we better look at that bill. You know, it's, it's passed one House. And the business community took a look at the bill, and they had tremendous concerns about the way it was worded. And they didn't testify in the House committee, and they didn't send their testimony to people as they voted on the House floor. But what the bill actually did was um, <clears throat> it, may, it, it turned our Kansas employment law upside down. Right now, um, in Kansas, we have what's called employment at will, at will of the employer. And an employer, if you're not a teacher, <laughs> before the other bill gets signed, but uh, if you're an employer and you have someone who is uh, not meeting your expectations, you have the right to fire them, and then they have the right to go apply for unemployment, and um, it's your, you do what you believe is best to grow your business, and that, that, that way you surround people, you, you surround yourself with employees who you believe will work for you and, and uh, meet your goals. And in this bill, it turned employment law upside down in that it said that an employee could choose not to do what's in their job description by citing that they have religious freedom and they don't have to do it. For instance, if you were in a hotel clerk and you thought a gay couple was coming in to rent a room, you could say, I'm not going to rent that to you, I, and I exercise my religious freedom. And the bill went very far. Um, we were concerned about health care providers. You know, what if you're in an ER room and someone came in who was openly gay? Would you have to serve that person? Um, there were a lot of questions about how it affected employ employment. Uh, our cable companies, where you have um, people who go to your door and they hook up your TV to your cable company, you know, they could say, hey, I'm not going to serve that couple in there, they look different. Uh, and the, the business community came out and said, we don't like the wording in that bill. And so, we looked at the bill, we talked to a number of attorneys, we had a hearing on the bill, and for the first time, the business community came out and said, we cannot pass this bill. At the same time, it was national news that Governor Brewer was also, uh, the, a bill was on her desk dealing with religious freedom. And as we looked at our statutes on religious freedom, we found out that the bill that was on Governor Brewer's desk, we had already passed and signed into law last year. And so the Kansas Senate decided that we didn't need the controversial bill. The business community is the Republican Party's base, and the fact that we have employment at will is good for the business community. It does draw people here. We had businesses come to say, come to tell us, if you pass that bill, we're going to leave Kansas because I can no longer control my employees. And that part of the story was never told in the papers. I thought I would tell you why that happened, how it happened, how Ray and I started out supporting religious freedom, and how the way the, the legislation passed, uh, we had to finally, all of us, reject that bill in the end. But otherwise, we've had a great year. It's wonderful working with the Republican governor. I came in in the minority party in the House. The Republicans were the minority when I was first elected. And I've served under Governor Finney, I've served under Parkinson and Sebelius, and we have a good thing going here. And we are passing excellent pro-business legislation, and I appreciate all that you do. I appreciate the part that you take in helping us get that done. I appreciate the people you've sent to us from Johnson County. Uh, we're a great team.